Hey guys, 2020 is around the clock and I'm here on Reeling It with Alia. Hi, I'm Alia and I'm with Haroon today and I'm going to be discussing my top five highlights of 2019 while we're reeling it of 2019 include ranking number one, Imran Khan's speech at the United Nations. He came out with his big roar, just like he should have been, the Lion of Lahore. Um, no comments against him because uh, I've been inspired by Mr. Khan as well and he is doing an amazing job so I will I wish him all the best. Number two, I rank uh, Trump's acknowledgement of animal rights. I am talking about Donald Trump and in a positive light. Seen, you know, you always have to acknowledge a positive. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, but why Trump at number two? Harun, I had zero expectations okay zero okay number three i want to acknowledge the way saudi arabia handled hajj that is right hajj drew in a population of approximately 1.8 million people it's a muslim pilgrimage and it went ahead with relative ease the way a country treats people that are disabled and weak really reflects the level of compassion it has for society. Women cannot drive in Saudi Arabia. Hello? Harun, stick to the topic. I have a bias because I went for Hajj this year. Greta discussing climate change. I love Greta, I love her passion. She reminds me of a strong woman. That's right, flex the muscles, girl. She touched on a topic that many politicians and media, they know it exists, but don't wanna face it. Come on now, climate change is real. It affects all of us. We're all feeling it. No matter which corner of the world you're in, you are feeling the effects of climate change. I support climate change and couldn't agree more with you, Alia. My number five ranking goes to JLo and Alex Rodriguez. What can I say? They look great together. They compliment each other. They work out together, they eat together, they build each other up. It's just wonderful seeing people grow, flourish, and thrive in the best possible way. And when they both are eye candy, it's even better. We're gonna move into Harun discussing his highlights. It's time to hear my top five highlights. And the number one highlight is Sanna Marin, the Prime Minister for Finland. See, Finland has been declared the happiest country in the world. And just to add to that, the Interior Minister, Education Minister, Finance Minister, and the Prime Minister. They're all women. Harun, I can't even believe I missed women's empowerment. How could I? Hey, don't worry, Alia. I got your back. Well, Alia, this point of mine's on Kirtharpur Corridor does connect with your point on Imran Khan and his government, the Tehrik e Insaft or the Movement for Justice. This Kirtharpur Corridor is an open door invitation for all the Sikhs throughout the world, especially India. See, this is something which I place right after the Sana Marine becoming Prime Minister because see, the whole, this made a global impact. The Sikh community throughout the entire world were sending praises to the initiative by Pakistan Tariq e Insaf or the Movement for Justice, the political party of Prime Minister Imran Khan. Harun, you just copied me on IK. I mean, come on now. Excuse me. When did IK belong to you? 
He doesn't. He belongs to for sure, baby. My next point, which I'm going to talk about is Kim Kardashian. Rise and shine. Now, I want to talk about how Kim Kardashian moved into law. Hon, come on now. Let's just admit it. You like her because she's hot. You're missing the point. It's about Instagram and its effect on young girls. Simple. Oh, I want to talk about Serena Williams. Besides having 12 million followers on Instagram, she's also won Laureus Sportswoman of the Year Award four times. In 2019, she was placed at number 63 in the Forbes list of the world's highest paid athletes. There are a few things which many girls can learn from her because she has proved that age is not an obstacle. Number one, stand up for yourself. Number two, don't lose focus. When you fall, get back up. And the last thing, don't care what others think, just go for it. So she is a true inspiration to all the ladies out there. On that one, it's a two thumbs up from me. The Joker movie. Todd Phillips and Joaquin Phoenix have reimagined one of the most iconic villains in cinema. And yes, Joaquin Phoenix did do justice to his character. Hi, I like Heath better. Yes, I have an Australian bias. Yes, he fell into the role of the character. Like, how can you deny that Heath did not play the best possible performance? that anybody could in the history of the Joker. Heath Ledger was also my favorite Joker. But again, the situation varies. Heath Ledger's Joker was facing the Dark Knight. That's Batman. Joaquin Phoenix's Joker is about how he became a Joker. So there's a difference in that. So obviously, the level of performance has to be different. You can't compare Heath's Joker with Joaquin Phoenix, although both have done an amazing job. Thanks for tuning in to Reeling It with Harun and Alia.